All right, YouTube. We're doing some hokey testing here. But we're going to boil some water and check out this temp gauge. This is an Amazon gauge. And there's a good chance that I have it installed wrong. After talking to a buddy of mine, we determined that I'm probably picking it up on the suction side, which is down here. I figured this whole assembly area would equalize. He's claiming it's not. I'm going to end up teeing in here into the heater valve circuit. But while running it, the temperature gauge did not move. <coughs> Even when I shot it with the heat gun and I was in that 180 range. So, by heating this water up to the boiling point, that will give us a 210-220 reading. Unless the woke folks have changed that. One never knows today. But in this shop, it's still at 210, 212. 212 is official. Elevation tends to make a difference. We're going to get this boiling. We'll drop the probe in. And if this gauge does not work, I will take it up. Or <coughs> If the gauge does not function, I will replace it while I have the water drained down. While we drop the probe in, but that's immaterial. Alright, we're reaching full bore boil now. Add a little heat. Give that capillary a chance to warm up. I'd say we're close enough to find out if that's close. I would say... Uh, we are real close. So that's good. I don't have to replace my cheap Chinese gauge. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. All right. We are going to move the temperature sensor. Right up by the thermostat. And I think we're going to put a shorter nipple on here. Because our port is clear up there. I don't know how else to adapt this more efficiently. They, there are some adapter fittings, but none are available in town. So we're going to take this much out. That's going to put that tip right down into things. Not sure the best method. I should right here put my nipple in what I'd really like to do if everything clears is drop it right here get it as close to that housing as I can but we'll see I'll pull this nipple out throw it back in the spare parts <laughs>
That's awesome, awesome. awesome. Tighten it up. Let's get the show on the road, boys and girls. Bing, bada, boom.
just a little bit of a turn, so that's not rubbing. Still gonna flow to the heat. Kind of my only complaint right there. If that was up here, that might be better. I think it'll be all right. Not well. Throw a little piece of rubber in there, call it good. Plug in. Top it off with antifreeze. And nice will be good. So we're topping off the radiator. I cracked this fitting right here. Just to allow the engine to vent. Hopefully, I don't make a mess because it all came out of here. It should all fit. So, engine should be full. 